For those of you who live down south and are wondering why I have tubes of sand in the back of the van, it's because it adds weight above the rear axle. And since this van is only two wheel drive, it adds weight above the drive tires, which increases traction in the snow and slipperier conditions. So, so it's pretty common up north for people to put uh, weight in the back of two wheel drive pickups and vans and whatnot. But of course it cuts down on gas mileage because it's an extra few hundred pounds. So in the spring, it's time to come out and make some more room for other gear. I think each of these bags is about 60 pounds, and I think I put about five of them in there usually. The other nice thing is, if I ever do get into a tight spot where it's really slippery or I'm stuck, worst comes to worst, I can grab one of these bags out, uh, rip it open, pour it underneath the tire, and get sand on the ice or whatever's causing me to lose traction. So, all right, I don't want to put too much weight on the wheeler, so let's bring a load down to the shed. Chances this mower will start after being in the shed all winter. Blue smoke ought to chase the mice out at least. Woo. I think I'll let that air out a minute. Well, I hate that how you start one project and it turns into 10 more. So the squirrels have done quite a number in the shed over the winter. They've, they've been piling up acorns and eating them all winter long. They've got their little stash going here. And they got the little squirrel hotel going over here. So I'm going to have to clean all this out, uh, make sure there's no babies in there. Should be okay this time of year. But And the floor is a complete disaster. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of this, sweep it, and put everything back. So all the 15 other projects I wanted to do today are probably going to get sidetracked. Well, I guess one good thing about COVID, if I could take anything away from it, is that I've really started to think more about what I'm breathing in. And even this, for example, is just super dry, fine dust. In the past, I wouldn't have thought twice about sweeping this stuff out and breathing in fumes for an hour. But now with COVID, not only am I cognizant of what I'm breathing in, but I also have masks everywhere to protect myself. So I guess if you had to find good in something, that might be the one thing. Do you ever start a project and then run out of ambition before the project's done? I do all the time. Unfortunately, it's usually about halfway through the project, like right in the very middle. So, kind of tired of doing this already, but I'm going to have to uh, pick up the junkyard I've got going out here. Yeah. But I had an idea. You know, I've got some pretty long poles and some scaffold supports. And I thought I should take some of those 2x4s from the, skit, from the pallets I'm breaking up and run a, a board across here and then I can just slide the, the tall stuff up here and then keep it organized that way. So I think it's back to the garage and back to tearing apart pallets. 
No wonder I never get anything done hopping from project to project. That and I got to bring the snowblower down anyways. This is actually going to work out really well. I had these uh, weird pieces of the pallet 2x4s that I couldn't really use for regular 2x4 stuff. But they're going to actually work out really nicely for this idea I had about hanging stuff from the ceiling. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. <laughs> Small victories, huh? Small victories. It's all right. Green days are always better than red days. Man, and these are hardwood and they are hard. Why didn't they do this like 15 years ago when we moved in here? Probably on my list of things to do somewhere. Kind of like the same list that has put hardware mesh in the gaps to keep out hornets and red squirrels. You can tell I got right on that project too. Anybody know what this is? Bet you boys down south know what this is. It's for it's push pull for a I suppose it'd be a pirogue if you were a southerner. But up here it is for wild racing because you can't use paddles when you're wild racing because you can damage the rice beds, so you have to use push pull. And for you people from the south who don't know what this aluminum thing, oh shoot, I'm gonna need a that's, oh, maybe it'll fit, maybe it'll fit. This is a roof rake for pulling the snow off of your roof in the winter time so that the, roof, the snow doesn't get too heavy and collapse your roof. It's funny how uh, I started thinking about how there's people from all over the world actually that watch this channel. And it dawns on me sometimes that there's things I do or things I have that people probably have no idea what that's all about, so. project is done for the day. Looks a lot better in here. I still could have done a little more work on the area where my trapping stuff is, but that's for another day. For the most part, everything is cleaned up and sorted and put away and I'm happy with the progress and I'm ready to move on to the next project. Unfortunately, the four-wheeler has a bunch of junk on it that I need to do something with, but uh, a lot of it's going in the garbage, a lot of it's just getting tools that are getting put away, and some of it's being brought to the land. Well, I got the hole drilled in the pipe. Now let's see if this is worth the $35 I paid for it. Well, so far I've cracked two of the two boards. We'll see, maybe my luck will get better. These are hardwood. These ones happen to be hardwood pallets though, so maybe the soft ones will go better. Yeah, I'm not impressed so far, but let's give it a little more time here. Oh yeah, see now that works pretty good. <laughs> maybe it's just the end ones that are harder. So I cracked the board here on this end, and that looks like that on the other end. Yeah, so not great, but I, I could trim those ends off. So if I can't use these boards for building, my plan is I'm going to use them for firewood for nice dry kindling. Pallets are all heat treated to kill like organisms and stuff, um, and to make them like sterile so they don't transport like invasive species across the country. So they're really good for kindling. So if I, they, if I 
break them like I do on this one, that's just going to be a nice kindling uh, board for the firebox. So, But one thing I can tell you is it's a lot easier than doing it with a hammer and a pry bar. That's for sure. Free wood from pallets always seems like such a good idea until you spend hours breaking them down. Yep, lots of fun. So that's the project for now. Let's see how much of this pile we can get through. River, grab a hammer. You goofball, you've been laying in the sun all day. Well, should we brush you? you Want to get brushed? All right. Gotta get all that winter fur out of you, don't we? Sure, now everybody's gonna think that the only toys I ever get you are bottle toys, or empty trash. You do have real toys. Look at all this fur coming off of you. Is winter over, huh? Put some chicken. It's a little bit frozen, so we're gonna put it on the top rack for now if we can. So on these pieces I have the seasoning from Buffalo Wild Wing is the desert heat dry rub. Yum. River's guarding the grill because we're making chicken on the grill. River loves grill treats, don't you? I think we're going to have a bonfire tonight with some of the leftover pallet pieces that I had. The ones I destroyed. Well, the geese are going to bed for the night. All those pallets I had, this was the only waste that I ended up with. And some of it I could probably even use if I wanted to really work on it. Like, I could probably get the nails out of the, separate those and that'd be one more board. But to be honest, I kind of got tired of doing it and I had a fair amount. So that pallet buster definitely made a difference and it made it a lot easier to separate the pallets. It wasn't 100%, I still had some wrecked boards, but it really was a lot less than doing it with a hammer and a crowbar or any other way that I've tried. Um, so it was a success. If you're interested in taking apart pallets uh, and, if, and you want to try the pallet buster, I'll put a link down below in the description of where I got mine on Amazon. I think I paid about $35 for it and then I had to supply my own pipe, which wasn't a big deal. Went to my local scrap yard and got a piece of pipe for a couple bucks. All right, well, I'm going to eat some dinner, and we will catch you guys later. And yes, River got grilled treats. No, he did not get the bone, though. So don't worry about that. Yes, I know dogs can't have chicken bones. Well, good night, all. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know doing chores isn't very much fun, but you got to do the things you got to do, too. Otherwise, you don't get to play. So I'll see you soon.